guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial for you and I think I want to make it um, a little bit cool tone. Um, so I'm going to be using the Subculture Palette by Anastasia. I want to do like a really cool tone matte smoky eye look. Really matte, not going to highlight the eyes too much. I'm just going to leave it the shadow, liner, and then lashes and that's it. Um, and then maybe a gloss-ish, maybe. I don't know. So... If you want to see me do this cool tone fall makeup look, okay, then guys, just keep watching. So I have been really loving the Anastasia palette, and I think I'm going to first go in with the shade Mercury right here, um, and then I'm going to be using the green, olive green shade as well, and maybe even this purplish shade down here. So yeah, let's just dive into this. I'm going to take a Sigma E40 blending brush and I'm just going to put mercury right on that and we're going to put that right in the crease. Now, if you guys don't know, oh, that is really uh really pigmented. Okay. A little bit goes a very 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 long way with the subculture palette. A lot of people had a lot of hate on this palette, but I came to find out that the more I used it and got used to it, that a little bit really does go a long way with this palette. Which is nice because you don't have to really dig into the palette. This was like one dip, what I have on my eye right now. One dip. Gonna go in again. And on the other side. I've been trying to step out of my comfort zone a little bit just because I do do a lot of warm toned looks. Um, I watch a lot of YouTube videos and what I've come to find out is that like not a lot of people do a lot of cool toned looks so I wanted to step out of my comfort zone and try something new. Now that I have the gray in there, I'm going to put the color Destiny. That is the um, greener shade in there. I'm going to mix it with that. And here we go. I'm going to try to keep this more on the outer corner though and I'm using the same brush that's actually really nice I'm gonna really try to darken it with the green and I'm gonna try to leave a little bit of space on the lid just because I like the lighter lid look Going in on the other side. Wow, I actually really like this. It's like a mauvey green, gray, fall makeup look. And it's actually really pretty so far. Just like a green gray look. Okay, now I think I'm gonna take that um, green shade again. And if I can find my brush, here she is. I'm gonna put the mercury color on the bottom of the lash line. A bit. Just a little bit, just on the outer part of the eye. Okay, I may have to go back on my word. I think I do have to highlight. I can't not highlight, you know what I mean? I have to do it. Um, so I'm gonna take my 
favorite color from a favorite. Yes, what you just saw was my bag of goodies. Um, my favorite palette, the Lorac Pro 2 palette. My shoulder has been locking itself up recently. Oh my goodness. Whew. All right, we're gonna go in with the color beige. And I'm gonna put that on the inner corner. Just cause I can't not highlight on the inside. You can't just not do that. Okay, and I'm going to highlight the brow bone as well. And I'm just gonna buff that out with my original Stigma brush. All right, now I'm gonna do some eyeliner. You guys know I can't live without the eyeliner. My hair is just like all over the place today. Are you guys seeing this? All right, here we go. Ugh. Sorry if I have like, I don't know. Oh, let me show you guys the close up it looks like. I think it looks pretty cool. Okay, eyeliner. Am I the only one that cannot speak when doing eyeliner? Like seriously, can't. Oh, eyeliner just makes such a difference. Such a, look at that difference. It makes such a difference. All right, guys, sorry for the pause, but I cannot do eyeliner and speak at the same time. I look really, like, bright and washed out right now. So now we're going to do mascara. I have the hiccups so bad. So bad. Okay, there we go. Mascara. Mascara even makes such a difference. Oh my god. Oh, a little fun fact. So, I have been gluing on my nails. And that's not such a good idea. Because I went to go take them off because they were on for a week. One week. I took them off and the glue turned green underneath my nails and I'm not happy about it. I'm kind of scared. I don't like it. So if it doesn't go away, I have a problem. Okay guys, eyes are done. I think it looks really cute. Very fall. Now, I don't know what to do for a lip. I know it has to say neutral. That's all I know, really. <laughs> um, so, let me see. I think I'm gonna stick with the gloss just because I feel a little too mattified because I don't have highlighter on today because I'm trying to keep it matte. Um, so yeah, we'll just go in with a gloss. And this video will be concluded. Any gloss 
will do. Neutral. I mean, any gloss in general. You can wear whatever you want. I personally love the Nick love the NYX butter glosses. This one is in the shade Creme And yeah, guys, this is the final look. It is just a very cool toned fall olive green makeup tutorial. Olive green grayish makeup tutorial. I had a lot of fun creating actually. I don't really wear cool tones often, but I'm actually really liking how it looks. Yeah, and that is with the Subculture Palette by Anastasia. Really, really, really impressed with it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you loved watching it. Please subscribe before you leave. Turn on notifications to be notified for when I post. I post Monday through Friday every single day. Um, yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say except I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.